Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on a GTA 5 for, well, the obligatory start line demo derby. In fact, what is going on over here? Have they found a way? Oh, they found a way onto the inside. Sure. This is a new place that we can go and explore. Oh, there's a way to jump. I was going to push somebody off, but they all fell off on their own anyway, so. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Lado. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, it is that time again where we go racing on uh, on GTA 5. We've got the Rapid GT Classic uh, for this first race. And this is uh, tackling the Jenkenheim Ring, uh, built by Lado. You can hazard a guess at what circuit it's based on. Uh, we're going to... Oh, we're off! I don't even know really who jump-started on that one. Lado reset at the checkpoint but was in ghost mode. One of the purple cars, I guess, kind of. We sort of all equally jump-started in that one. Oh, we're going to try... They maybe make it around the outside. That's fine. We, yeah, we shall. We shall make it work. I do love the grandstand. It's really, really cool. Uh, i got to say. It, it, it looks the part. It looks the part. Now, is it good with the, uh, with the grandstand? I'm going to shuffle over here and wait for the... Oh, someone's gone even further to the inside. Uh, everyone's going past. Mayhem. Stinty with the very, very... Uh, Interesting line. I mean, it worked. And now oh, it's hey, trouble. <laughs> trouble has befallen everyone. Oh, and it was Lado that came off the worst of all of that. Um, it's going to happen eventually. Someone was going to come out in trouble from that. Oh, uh, God damn it! Oh, that little bump. That little bump just stopped us getting on the throttle. Although everyone's then going to check up through the next corner. Everyone's going to slow down. Is there a little gap to aim for? There is. Uh, we are around the outside of a Ewan. And we're back to fifth. I, when the pack is as crowded and is as busy as this, like a little mistake can drop you a bunch of positions, but a good corner can equally just, you know, you can pick up four places in, in one corner if you can carry speed and other cars are stuck tripping over one another. Hyper's on the curb and gone. Oh dear, we've gone into the final turn. These are oversteery cars. If you get things wrong with them, they will snap, they will bite, and uh, you can get into quite a bit of trouble here. Uh, he was on the outside of turn one. It's three on four, and far too many Aston Martins into one little bit of tarmac here. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh! It's not going to work! <laughs> the purple cars got together. Stevie's going to end up in a wall. That was far too much Aston Martin into one space. I should probably have backed out. For a little while, it looked like there was going to be a gap for us to find, and then the gap very, very slowly disappeared while we were stuck with our nose sort of in it. Thankfully, we all got away with it quite nicely. Uh, we're going to get to the lead of the race into the hairpin, but I don't know... Oh, hello, Lado. Uh, I don't know whether I actually... So, you always want to lead a race, but there's always the danger at the hairpin of things going absolutely ridiculously wrong. Uh, Lado and Amy are to the outside. Ewan's to the inside. We'll try and give space where we can. I mean, this race has been a lot about just kind of positioning your car knowing that there are vehicles either side of you a lot of the time. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a diff it's a different, slightly different kind of kind of racing because but this track for Slipstream and Catch-Up is quite powerful here. Uh, so, yeah, it does become a little bit of a different kind of racing. It's good fun, though. Uh, you've really got to try and be aware of where cars are around you and where someone's going to want to be putting their car as well if they have a good run. Uh, we are to the inside of the penultimate corner. Ewan's going to try and make it three wide, and Glissy's going to make it four wide, and Glissy's going to get big oversteer. Lado bailed on the uh, outside there. Sensible thing to do, because I don't think we were all going to fit if Lado had stayed technically within track limits. So, <laughs> yeah, there was a wise thing. Oh, no, we got we got bumped. We got served into turn one. Um... Lado, uh, not Lado's fault at all um, on that one. Lado doesn't really need to wait. Gliska was to the inside, and Gliska pushed me across the nose of Lado's car. Uh, I mean, it's just the four going into one corner is a bit dicey. Oh, level eight, don't hit that wall, please. Otherwise, we'll both be screwed. Uh, so, yeah, nothing really, nothing really. I could have done, I couldn't back out of it. It was so busy. Nothing really, Lado could It's just too many cars into one space, and that is, uh, that is problems, sadly. And sadly, we came off the worst from that. Uh, however, we've got plenty of time here. This is a, a longish race. I think it's eight laps with these. So we've got time to catch back up. We'll bring Stevie. We'll bring level eight. Uh, and honestly, with how busy this pack is, I'm sure Lana will be back in the fight as well by the end of it. Stevie opted not to go for that. I'm not sure where Stinty's going. Uh, Stinty's going for a very wide line. Uh, I mean, you, you might get a little bit less oversteer over there, but you're making the track an awful lot longer. It might have been 
got stuck out wide, to be fair. It's quite easy to get pushed uh, out wide in places. Uh, but you, you can see how much time we can gain. Uh, what happened to you? Uh, maybe Stinty and you got connected somewhere. See how much time you can gain when you are running around uh, on your own. When you can just take the lines that you want, take the speed that you want, not having to deal with other cars. Uh, oh, we're on the outside of Nareth's here. Uh, I was committed to that. I was committed to the amount of speed I had going on, and then I realised the back end just was not going to stick with the way I wanted to chuck that in. Mutes to the inside. We will give space through there. I mean, two and three wide is is quite possible through there. Stinty is really making up some track limits over there, and Danger Man has seen to it that uh, <laughs> the liberal interpretation of track limits has been dealt with. That's how you do stewarding. Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel like that's getting very dangerously close to vigilantism, which vigilantism, I don't know what the right word term is, but it's not necessarily the best thing, but it would make racing more interesting. Just imagine the BTCC. Uh, <laughs> someone cuts the track so Plato goes and uh, crashes them off. Oop! Oh, uh, whoopsie. Ah, oh, goddammit, Team Orange has got involved uh, again. No, I mean, they were bleaky, but he got connected with somebody. We just couldn't get out of the way that time around. As I said, Lado has caught back up to the group. And all of us that had dropped back, me, Level 8, Lado, Ewan and Stevie are all back in the lead fight here. Uh, we are nicely through these next couple of corners. We'll be to the inside of Level 8. I want to carry more speed through there, but I couldn't because uh, the purple cars are all lined up. Uh, so I had to have a little bit of a lift. Amy leads from Danger Man going on there. And then they're still going to go two and three wide and there's going to be a... Is it hyper to the outside? Possibly. Oh, ah, oh, goddammit. Ewan's absolutely throwing it up the inside there. We get a big kick of oversteer. We get a great run here. There's a little gap to fire an orange car through, but Stevie's got all of us. Uh, that would have been a hell of a photo finish if that had been the final lap of the race. Um, Danger Man with a big run. Oh, Stevie, I don't think knew we were going to the outside. We're to the outside and we are past. Uh, we've got three cars. On the outside, God knows how many wide we were going down there. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous, this. <laughs> I mean, there is still some liberal interpretations of track limits occurring in places. Uh, Lado is to the lead of the race. Gliska is going to chase down. We will try and follow if we can get some draft. Oh, no, not again! Everyone somehow survived. Lado and Amy got connected, and for a second time, we had a yellow car fired across the track in front of us. Um, well, that was more into the door. Uh, we survived, and Stinty somehow survived as well. These are quite oversteery cars. They're not the most... Uh, uh, I guess they unstable. Yeah, they they do slide about, but if they get hit, they don't have the worst time of any car in the game, which is nice. We can get away with uh, some of the light contacts without the cars completely freaking out. Uh, we will... Oh, carry it again. Good momentum there. We're to the outside, though. Uh, Gliska is not going to be close enough to have a look. Uh, Stinty will carry enough speed through there. We'll get a slipstream, though, and we'll be able to send it to the inside. Uh, however, I mean, the thing we know, this is a pretty decent run to the start-finish line. Although Stinty was very slow through there. I mean, on the final lap of the race, I would curb boost my way. Although I wouldn't have needed to, actually. We would have, we would have won that one uh, anyway. So, yeah, I don't know what happened to Stinty out of that final corner. Stinty still with the... Uh, I don't think you really want to be that wide, because honestly, you end up so far out of the way... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you end up so far wide, it actually makes the corner kind of awkward, and you don't get any slipstream. Uh, I was going sideways in front of Gliska again. I don't think actually Gliska really needs to wait on that one. I was, I was sliding, and Gliska was committed to the corner at that point. Uh, I mean, always appreciate the, uh, the the waiting. Um, some of these crashes are just happening already, and you can't do anything about them. When you when you turn up on the scene of a crash, uh, you're suddenly quite limited by what you can do. Uh, right, we've got a couple of laps to go of this madness. Still, uh, we're in the lead group. There's going to be about eight cars battling for the lead by the end of this. We've got uh, Stinty still making up. A Stinty's just racing on a completely different track to the rest of us, I think, at this point. Um, there perhaps needs to be some more stop six around the outside. Although, I don't really think it's actually gaining much time. I don't think it's really worth it. And I think you actually run the risk of crashes great, because you're, you're at really weird angles to everybody else. I feel like the risk of a crash is quite great with some of these. Uh, someone is definitely firing their car up the inside through here. 
Uh, I was very much expecting that one. Oh, we got a helping hand. I don't actually want to get past there. Uh, I mean, okay, no, that could work. Stinty will not quite get us on the run to the line. I didn't intend to go around the outside of Gliska, but we were put in that position, so we made the most of it. Uh, now we've got four wide again, heading down towards turn two. We're in the middle. Oh, God, it's not... It's quite narrow down. <laughs> it's quite a wide piece of track and we managed to make it really unnecessarily narrow. I don't think Stinty realised I had a car on the outside. It's really difficult to tell sometimes uh, when you're on the inside. Here, it's really difficult to tell if the car you're alongside, see how Danger Man can just appear from nowhere. You can't always tell that there's a three wide going on that you're a part of. Um, Lado level 8 had come past. We had a bad run to the hairpin here. We're not really able to do very much there. Uh, but we get a good exit as everyone scrabbles out wide. Can I get some slipstream off anybody? Problem is, yeah, everyone scrabbled out wide. We got a really good run off the off the hairpin, but everyone was out wide, so they were all slipstreaming each other on their slightly wonkier line, and I had no one uh, in front of me. We'll go around the outside of level eight. That's fine. We'll be on the inside of Gliska through here, uh, if we can, just keep up some momentum. Can't quite get any slipstream going on here though. Uh, Danger Man is leading the way. Oh, Team Orange will try and work together and not crash each other off onto the final lap. Whoa. Oh, there's a turquoisey car to the inside. Uh, it's mayhem. It's still mayhem. I don't think we've had very much time without a car alongside us somewhere around here. Right, here we go. I mean, it's a big amount of slipstream towards the finish line here. We're onto the... Oh, Lado! No! Lado! <laughs> oh, I don't... Again, Lado would not have realised... I obviously didn't realise there was a car appearing with a lot of speed on the outside there. Moved across because there was cars to the inside. Ah, god damn it. I, I, I apologise. What can I do? Um, <laughs> I got my car there. And, uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. Either we're going to be at the perfect place to get a massive slipstream pull, uh, or we're going to be in the complete wrong place. I mean, there's so many cars between us and the victory here. However... So much can happen in these final few corners, uh, especially with slipstream. Will there be a big... Oh, that. That, that's, that can happen as well. Uh, <laughs> it got so crowded with cars. I mean, I had, again, we haven't got lots of cars moving around uh, in front of us. Oh, there's been some contact. Blakey's, Blakey survived a last lap shenanigans. What's going on? That's not right. It's normally Blakey that gets uh, in trouble in that one. Uh, we're following Stinty through all of this, because I don't know if you want to lead here. We know there's going to be chances for slipstream runs to the line. Uh, we know that is likely to happen. Or we might just be five wide and no one get any slipstream at all. That is another distinct possibility. Hyper is to the inside here. Ewan and Blakey are side by side. We've got a good run on the exit here. We're in the slipstream of a Ewan who is curb boosting as well, and Ewan's just going to take it. And there's a photo finish for third as well. Ah, oh, god damn it. We were in a good spot to try. We were in a good spot to try. Uh, unfortunately, it was uh, just not to be. Oh, Ewan takes victory. Team Orange gets second and third. Blakey did get that uh, that big photo finish run to the line. Level 8 fourth ahead of Stinty Hyper. Ended up sixth in the end of that. Gee, look at the fourth, fifth, and sixth play. Well, between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. It's crazy. Hyper gets fastest lap. Oh, it's a second place. It's a good first, manic first race, but a good fun first race. For our second race, we have got the Tempesta. I don't know the last time we drove this car, to be honest. I think it's a half-decent vehicle to go. I don't remember it being anything particularly weird with it. It's going to have more grip than the Rapid GT Classic. There we go, I remember GTA cars. We won't quite have the same oversteer-related issues. They will be faster. They will just have yeah, more grip in general, which will be a quicker car. I mean, quicker car in general does mean sometimes more trouble because um, you're having a higher speed accident. But uh, other than that, should be fine. What could go wrong? Don't know whether they can bump draft. Uh, I feel like we're probably going to fight. Oh, sorry, Ewan. I'm going to probably find out at some point. Oh, it looks like they can actually push a little bit. Amy was pushing Blakey without that. Yeah, okay. These looks like they might be able to. Not going to necessarily try it too much, but in a desperation uh, situation, it might work. Uh, we're trying to get a good exit on the, from the hairpin. Unfortunately, though, we've got no one in front to slipstream from. 
We have got a little bit now. That will hopefully pull us past Stevie. Oh, and we can put the nose to the inside. And we will move up into a seventh place. I mean, there's always going to be a lot of chopping and changing for positions early on with this style of racing. A lot of chopping and just changing positions just in general with three wide. Through a corner that in the real circuit you'd never get. Two wide is sketchy through that corner. Three wide, oh. So Hyper was struggling to get that stopped and I just had to kind of bail. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to be stuck on the outside if Hyper was having an issue, so I just played it a little bit safe there. Uh, but it's all good. I mean, we lost a small bit of time, but we're straight back on the tail end of the group. We're going to get a great toe down towards turn one. Uh, no. No. <laughs> there is cars three wide. There is cars everywhere. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes it's just worth playing it a little bit safe. Because, well, there's a big old shunt up ahead, but we know we're going to get a massive toe down this next straight. So, you know what? I'll just not run the risk of getting myself squeezed into a wall or fired into the stop sticks again. Uh, here we go. We've got a good toe down here. We will try and follow Danger Man. Danger Man's got a better one than me, pretty much. No one's following us, uh, so it's safe to go and play a little bit of sneaky curve boosting. Oh. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> I love the way the game just takes away control of your steering briefly on that one. Uh, we got the littlest of nudges from Gliska that put us a slightly out of position that gave us the little nudges from Hyper, and the game just took away my steering and decided we're going off to visit a wall. But, again, I mean, little bumps like that, it's not the worst thing in the world. I am not going to make that three wide there. Uh, we'll have a little... A little lift. Just, just enough of a lift so that uh, we can stay behind but be ready to get the draft towards the next corner. Oh, Blakey goes for actually a really good cutback. Did not think that was going to work, but uh, well, he did very well to make that one stick. Uh, we do have a much better line, though, through here, as Amy and Ewan are playing chicken with a wall. Uh, go! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Lamborghinis! <laughs> that's so many Lamborghinis! Go! Uh, we are just playing bump draft somebody to the lead, and now we're seven wide, I think, and Stevie's got the lead of the race. I'm going to have to back out of that. That's just not going to work. <laughs> How many cars do you want uh, in one piece of racetrack? Let's uh, let's not do that one again. I somehow we survived that, and I don't quite know how. We're so, we're tenth. It is complete chaos here. I mean, glorious chaos, but it is chaos. Ewan's just completely left for dead uh, down here. Um, oh, okay, that's how Stevie got past. Stevie must have missed a checkpoint. So Stevie is not the leader, because I wondered how Stevie just pulled away all the way down there, but Stevie is not the leader of the race. So they've missed a checkpoint somewhere, whether they realise they've missed a checkpoint. Uh, they, they probably will when they're pulling away from us, um, despite being the, what they think they should be the leader. That's unfortunate. I don't know where they would have missed a checkpoint, but possibly with the uh, swinging around on alternate lines. I mean, you know I got pushed past one in, in some of these places. We're out very wide here, which is... I mean, there's going to be a car to the inside. I was hoping it would still give us a good enough run on the exit of the corner. It did. We would have got back past Hyper. However, car's in front of us. And we couldn't. Oh, little, little too much overspeed on the way in there. We're all going to get a slipstream, though, off the uh, Danger Man. Oh, mute to the inside. We're going to try and replicate our seven wide. Hopefully not. And that was difficult to pull off. Um, they're all chasing each other across the track. You know, I'm happy to actually just sit back a little bit here. Oh, since he, since he started to move across, then realised he couldn't at the last second. Everyone's got away with it, though. That's fine. Uh, we can duck back and try and follow this group uh, up through the field. Mute's going to run out of speed. Blisk is going to push us. That's fine. Got no draft, though. Couldn't get across. Yeah, can't get across anymore. Uh, see the power of the bump draft? Bump draft very effective, actually, in these. Uh, and Gliska very sensible with it. Uh, you bump draft a car, but uh, if you're going to bump draft, you've got to get off the brakes. Especially for a hairpin like that, you've got to get off the brakes sooner. And, uh, yeah, Gliska did that one perfectly uh, through all of that. Um, we are on the outside. The outside line's not too bad here. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't carry momentum because it all got stacked up in front. Uh, oh. And again, mute with a little a little check up through there. Almost ended up in trouble. Uh, the, I mean, these cars have got so much grip. I a lot of these corners you don't really need to brake very much for. Most of it's just a lift and coast. Here you you do. Um, but yeah, a lot of these corners you can get away with a lift uh, on on the approach almost. Although you, you can't if you've got a big slipstream pull, of course. But oh, uh, 
So I'm quite ready for that, uh, for that slowing down there. Although we then fired Mute out of the corner really well, so it worked for them. <laughs> worked for me. Although we're back in the fray immediately. Uh, through turn one. Oh! Blakey is pointing the wrong way, and sadly in turn one, Porty. He might still have a chance, though. Might still be a chance to catch back up. Oh, I, oh well. <laughs> Hyper and Gliska got together, and we, at a weird angle, just fired Gliska forward. I don't quite know how that worked as well as it did. Uh, I didn't really get a slingshot well enough past Hyper, and now we've all stalled out three wide down here, not slipstreaming properly. Never mind. We all dive to the inside. Hyper is going to get the cut back. Oh, on the exit. I thought I was clear. I wasn't. That was my bad. I thought I was clear just to fall back in line behind Hyper, but just misjudged the length of the uh, Tempesta there. Uh, we will take the lead of the right. Oh, God, Stevie, Stevie Stinty's got the nose to the inside. That scared the crap out of me. I wasn't quite ready for that. Because uh, we were already on quite a tight line. There wasn't a huge amount of space to the inside, but since he wanted to go for it. Uh, three wide here is asking for trouble. Whoop. And we're fine so glad there's not a gravel trap there, otherwise we would have had a bad day. Uh, all got away with it. Danger Man snuck through and has the lead of the race. Oh god, the big Skittles bag of angry cars is back together again, ready for a final couple of lap showdown. Um, yeah, pretty much. Everyone here? Yeah, I gotta say everyone's here. Oh god. <laughs> not sure I'm ready. Not sure anyone's ready. It's three wide. Oh, and Gliska and Amy got connected and they've spun at turn one. We will draft past you. I mean, Blakey's always back into the fight. Uh, we're to the inside at turn two, but I mean, it's sensibly done. Space is left. Danger Man will probably actually get a better exit with a little bit of curb boost. I'm clear to fall back in line behind. I'm fine with that, actually. You know, I'm, I'm all okay with that. Stinty will sneak past. Uh, Lado will sneak past. Am I clear to go? I am clear to get back in the draft of a Ladosaurus. There is a mute to the inside at the hairpin. Uh, we've all got... <laughs> it's so difficult to judge. So difficult to judge when you're in the middle of a three wide, but any of positions in that is, is tough. Because uh, you're trying to leave space to everybody around you, but you can't always see everybody's car uh, where they all are. Uh, we're going to run in. Oh, no. Too wide through there. Uh, I thought I might have the grip to get away with that. I did not have the grip at all to make that one work. Uh, we will be to the inside of a danger man. We will chase the back end of the Tempesta across the road. A smidge there, but we got away with it. All is fine. All is less fine in this next corner. Again, a little bit of oversteer. Uh, I don't mind that wide line, though, because we seem to get just a good run off the corner. We can dip the wheel and get a little bit of a curb boost. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. I've got a sliding ladder in front of me. I had to check up. We got a help, though, from somebody behind. Uh, I wanted to get back in the slipstream more than curb boost, but no... No other option. Hyper... Oh, we're going to fall wide on the exit of turn one. And Lado is through the middle. There's so many cars. It's not even the final lap of the race yet. Gliska's to the inside. Lamborghinis everywhere! Uh, it's a lot of cars. It is the entire pack bar Stevie who missed a checkpoint and was almost a lap down. It wasn't like that at one point. Unlapped themselves. But yeah, it's basically the entire field is together now. Oh, that's going to end badly. Well held from Stinty. I've got nowhere to go. Uh, I could dive all the way to the inside, but uh, oh, Stinty might have got turned uh, on the left-hand side of me. I had nothing to do with it. I just saw well, Stinty lost some time, but he's still in the group. There's it's such there's such this huge amount of momentum with a pack of cars like this. If you get turned, you often get sort of pointed back the right way and you can just get back in the draft and, and carry on. There's so much forward momentum from all this number of cars that. Uh, yeah, what would sometimes be a really big crash actually doesn't turn out to be as bad as you think. I don't know how we managed to squeeze our car through the middle of a three wide there, but we did. Uh, we are to the inside, and we will take the lead of the race. Uh, this me and Blakey out in front. Is Blakey going to fire to the inside? I don't know. Uh, does not go for it. We've got one more lap to go here. One more time around. We know we're going to get slipstream pulled towards life. That'd be the final lap. I would have been curb boosting like crazy. Oops, Stinty's turned up to give us a, a boot. Hyper fired that car into a gap. It was not a very big gap. Oh, but it was a gap. Nerefs is to the lead of the race for the first time in all of it. Nerefs has played a cunning game of sit back and watch the mayhem unfold and get to the front at the right time. Go, 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 go. Uh, Nerefs was checking up to avoid the wall and, well, me and Stinty, I think, were going to push Nerefs forward. Go. Oh. There's, well, some Team Orange teamwork is occurring. Oh, dear. We got 
a nudge from a Ewan, and we are around. We got going again. Lado's hit the front of the pack. Can I catch back up in time? I mean, we might not actually be out of this. The bump was quite severe, but we spun it, we got it back going again, and didn't actually... We, we've fallen to 11th, but we've not fallen off the pack completely. I mean, it's going to have to be uh, a hell of a... Oh, Blakey. The, the terrible Blakey luck continues. Complete innocent bystander as Stinty and someone else got connected. And poor Blakey just got fired into a wall. We are... Oh, there's a gap there. Stinty got connected with Lado. We're going to try and push Mute out of this one. Whoever's got the lead of this race has won it by a mile because we've all stumbled over each other. Uh, <laughs> this is the battle for second. I'm not sure who is out in front. But there is somebody who is going to have a wonderfully, delightfully uh, clean run to the line. And for the second race in a row, we follow Ewan across the line. <laughs> oh. oh, when it got messy at the end. Uh, <laughs> it's a fun track, though, I've got to say. It's a very good recreation, of course, of the, uh, the Hockenheim circuit. And it makes for some mad sort of racing. Uh, Stevie with the fastest lap of the race, perhaps unsurprisingly. Uh, makes for some mad racing. It is literally, you're four or five wide almost the entire time. Uh, mistakes do happen, as we saw. Um, however, yeah, we had some really good racing around there. So, that is going to be it uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and of course a big thank you to Lado for building this uh, wonderful circuit. That shall be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye.